I want to see the Alliance map. It may be time to return to Norway. Sigurd is eager to see his father and... And beyond that, I do not know. I have heard ill news about Styrbjorn in the past year. If you go, go with care. We'll leave now, and return as soon as we're able. Good. And be safe. Both of you. What a pleasure to see you. Sigurd. Shall we then, Eivor? To Norway, and well beyond. To Norway, then. Good, good! Lead on! shaped us more than all the decades we spent here, brother. And it's bloody cold. Colder than I remember. Let's hear a story. A story from my youth. This one has no lesson to be learned. ...or message to be gleaned. Often my father liked to take me on hunts in the forested lands... ...east of Arvaldsnes. I loved these solitary times with him. This is Harald's fair hair's kingdom now. Every peak and fjord... It ...pains me to say it... ...to think it even. And our father, his fool... ...poor man. It is a road he chose. He bent easily and broke in half. Do not pity him. No. For many moons I could not sleep, always thinking of his betrayal. The horrors I wished upon him. He deserves nothing but shame now. No. He must taste the same foulness that I taste. He must know what glory he missed by staying here, the lap dog of a conqueror. You want to speak with him? Yes. Face to face. I will tell him the truth. Where were you? I had never felt a beast myself, and my father saw that this upset me. Alrek starts. It thrives. In spite of our father, no doubt. Are you sure of this? I will say what needs to be said. Do you fear his rebuke? Oh, no. I crave it. It may be the old hound has lost his bark. Or it may be you'll light a fire beneath him, inspire him with tales of our glory. If I do, I'll stoke that flame until it burns.
underground descent. Our father spends his days in the mead halls and his nights on barren planks of wood. That's right. We'll search the mead halls. I remember one nearby, a sad hall where men soak their unhappiness. We should look there. We come empty-handed, not even a gift to offer. Rats don't appreciate gifts. They sniff and lick them without care. We were speaking. You are chipper, brother. He never leaves. From sun up to sundown, he just sits there, staring into I his have an iron stone Once just. We should go. Look at him. Father. Odin's blessing, come and let me look at you stuff. That is far enough. Blood of cheer. What happened there? A grievous wound you have. Are you well? Far better than I look, I assure you. This... this calls for a toast. Your journey must have been long and cold. A drink to warm your blood. We are not here to drink or make merry. Only to look upon the rackets of a once great man. And then what? Make new war against King Harald? Stake a claim on his crown? Is that your wish? To sow more chaos here? <laughs> You're absurd, old man. What could possibly interest me in this frozen backwater? I heard rumors that England was infested with kings already. I thought maybe... Maybe you would return here to... Uh... I have cast aside all dreams of kingship, father. A much greater end lies in wait for me. <laughs> I have returned for one reason only. To say goodbye. And to thank you for your colossal failure. Failure? As a father, as a king, as a man. For without it, I would not have discovered my true self. My failure, as you call it. My oath to King Harald was the only sensible path forward for a man in my situation. And what have you done with yourself since? Drink heavily and weep for what might have been? I have... I have worked hard to broker peace across our land. To spread Harald's message of unity. I heard you sleep beneath Harold's bed, always at his back and call, and that he uses your gaping mouth as a chamber pot. You make light of my service to a great and powerful man. Is that how you treat those who serve you, Sigurd? You pathetic one! Sigurd, this is not why we came. Plans change. As do hearts. Not this one. And you, Eivor? I wish you whatever peace you may find in this new life you have found. I did not find it, Eivor. I chose it. The only way forward that did not lead to more violence and death and grief your father would have understood. He died to avoid a similar fate, to save his family at the cost of his reputation. No. My father, he... he was... Uh... He loved you. That is all. Argon nonsense. I've heard enough. Sigurd, 
From the day you were born, I wanted nothing more than to pass on my title, my land, my people, to you. But one year is never like another, and with the passage of time, certain truths appeared, unavoidable. Ours was the last kingdom in Norway to resist Harald's advance. To oppose him would have been our death. You do not know that. We could have fought back. We could have, yes. And suffered countless deaths for no other reason than to protect our pride. We will never know the truth. Because you were too afraid to risk it. Look after him, Eivor. And if you have the chance, lead him back from the edge of the abyss. He is my brother, not my dog. Be well, old man, and serve your king with honor. This sad business is finished. Good riddance. And now we sail for further shores. To my true purpose. To my destiny. To the end of my road. I will follow you as far as you wish in this world, brother. But if you mean to take us further, I may reconsider. I do not think you will, eh? I think you will marvel at what I have to show you. Still dwelling on your father? Not at all. I was only reflecting on my visions, wondering at them, how present they are, like memories of yesterday. Describe them for me, your visions. My earliest was of a large door embedded in ice, far north of Hördafilke. The Saga stone embedded at the top of its arch. As the visions grew stronger, the door opened, revealing many things. The life tree Yggdrasil, the golden fields of Valhalla, and the faces of our gods, all of whom called me friend, brother, warrior. I felt at home among them, warmed by their love. You should know. You're not alone in this. I too have had visions. Have you? And what did they foretell? It is hard to say. I've seen Odin leading me into shadows. I've seen spinners weaving wild destinies from pools of blood. I saw the great beast Fenrir. The branches of the world tree, and a man with... Go on. Valka warned me of a great betrayal, but what form it takes I cannot say. I see. I hold to my oaths, Sigurd. You know that. Betrayal is not in my nature. Of course not. You are a stalwart as a pillar of stone. Come now. My destiny awaits. The daughters of Aegir bless our passage. Yes, I feel a great calm as we cross these waves. This ordeal with the elf king, Alfred. How far have you pushed him? Does he bend? Will he break? Guthrum's army will be chasing him across Wessex now. With luck, he'll push Alfred into the sea. Strange how these earthly concerns seem so distant to me. But we've gained so much in England, and we stand to win even more. The Christians are hardy folks. They see one man above who holds the axe. One man higher than us all. That is a powerful fuel. We hold our own axe. We swing it where we may. The woman, Fulke. In my time with her, as painful as it was, she showed me things. Things so strange and wonderful, I am almost grateful for her treachery. What she did to you was cruel beyond measure. Yet, with every snap of the flail, with every scar, with the loss of my arm, my visions grew stronger. If you can find the good in that, fine. But she was as mad as the ocean is wide. Even the mad ones can offer wisdom. Their Jesus was an odd fellow. 
Now half the known world loves him. And no one believed us when we were young, and we chiseled our plants onto tables in meat halls. Not even my father. There is the cigarette I know well. Can we not return to England and finish together what we began? No, forget all that. The future is forward. A great wealth awaits us. I am with you, brother. Until the end. A white rage stands in our way. Keep moving forward! You know the way! As I know my own mind! We will cut through this winter sheet like swords through straw! Do not worry! To perish on a lonely fjord would be the shame of our clan. Ha! That we would! Sigurd, can we not wait for this to pass? Ah, the sting of ice on skin. Revel in this, Eivor. We walk the footpath of the gods. To where? More glaciers and deserts of snow. To glory! Could we not wait until this tempest quiets down? With this ship where we have mead and food to warm us? No! We must confront the omens and honor the gods! They will not seek or find you! We must go to them! We would be poor company with frozen bones and ice pellets for ice. You need not fear the cold, Avon. Where we are going, the winds and snows cannot touch! It is bitter cold, as wind from Niflheim. Keep steady! It should not be far now! Take a frozen fingers, I hope so. There. The frozen lake. This must be it. And ahead lies a cavern. Will you not say where this leads? You will see soon enough. Too late to turn back, I fear. There! The cave! Within hides the sacred gate! <laughs> the 
The ice looks fragile. Can you clear it? My heart races. This is it. above. The Saga Stone sat there, did it not? Long, long ago, yes. Now stand clear. Svach hoi nog vat uns membro trurvon di gvorde, uns solas vras gnogadide, uns um hugas reis derae gas saumsi. How did you do this? Where did you learn these words? I told you, Eivor. My visions are memories of a life once lived. Come. Gods. What is this place? Over here, this plate will lead us onward. Hoerasi! There, the old tree, the tree of life. What is this? See how proudly she sits, how beautiful she gleams. Here, all the roots of life run together. Skulls would cry to behold such a sight. And there is more to come. I swear by all the names of the Old Father, this is only a taste of what I have in store for you. For my visions go further, to Odin's great hall. Haste. 
There. Do you feel that? The sacred energies. I have never seen something so grand. these things Was it yes it is returning to me now this ancient shrine is set alight by the sphere of metal and these shining arms these branches they will grant us access to the refuse of the gods to Valhalla are you ready what lies beyond all this where does this lead Take your place at the center there, and you will see. How do you know these things? Was all this in your vision? All this, and more. <laughs> Seekers! What is this place? There you are! Hail Dreyer! Welcome! The Hobby returns to lead us to victory! Lead us to glory, Javi! We are proud to serve you, Javi! with another horn of mean, brother. Drink for strength, fight for glory! Eivor, Tyr said you would come. Welcome. Are you... Are you Valka's mother? Svala? You have a keen eye, Wolfkist. After all this time, Eivor, we have arrived. Now raise a horn with Freya here and sing a victory song. Sigurd, what is all this? Your arm has returned and your vicar as well. Glory eternal, Eivor. Here we dine in the great hall of the slain. At long last. Oh, I want to scream with joy. This is... This is all so beautiful. Your visions were... They were real. The battle has close! Come, dear! To the field! Fight with us! Go, Eivor. Enjoy the fight. You have earned your place here.
This place is incredible. Enough with those short flies. You and I must fight. The battle we never had. And hold nothing back, for here we need not fear a thing. Spill the eternal blood of Valhalla. At last, I share the dinner with Brother! Worry not, Eivor! <laughs> For we earn no scars here, only battle wisdom. The day is done! What just happened? You, Harvey. Let my lips with another horn of mead, brother. Drink for strength. Fight for glory. Sigurd, your arm has grown back. It was never gone, Eivor. Not truly. Nothing is permanent here. I told you. Nothing save the courage and reputation of its warriors. Are we immortal in this place? <laughs> Let us discover that together. New day. Tomorrow's bed. Again, you've lost your arm. And again, it will. Be Father, is that you? Your horn, join the battle cheer. Dearest Skald of war and verse, how do you like this frenzy so far? It is. It is quite something. Raise your horn, Eivor. What stops you? My father, Baron. Have you seen him in this hall? I have not. Should he be here? No, he died a coward. Yet by Odin's eye, I swear I have seen him. Cast aside your cares in Valhalla. Let seeking go. We have earned our joy. The journey is complete. Saw you, father. Where are you? Show yourself. We are proud to serve you, Harvey. Great warriors, have you seen Varen? Who? Varen, my father. Yesterday is gone. Varen, father. Ha! <laughs> Next 
Next time I lose this fucking arm, I'll beat a man to death with it. Do you not tire of these injuries? Never. Wait. Father. Eivor, you have a guest. You should have knocked first. Nonsense! I brought you someone. Look! My Eivor! There you are! What a warrior you have made of yourself! I am overfilled with pride. How did you find your way here? You remember our great battle? You remember how we fought, side by side, with your mother and Sigurd and our clans united? We fought, father. But you did not. You died a coward. Eivor, enjoy this. Your father has returned. <laughs> Have you lost all your love for life? That was not my father. That was a lie. That was not a lie. That was my gift to you. I have power here, and I can do as I please. You wish to see your father. I made it happen. As easy as breathing. By Odin's laws, my father is not allowed in this place. I do not wish to see him where he should not be. Your father died doing what he hoped would save you. He died to protect you. ...and his clan. No... ...he... This is the end of our road, Eivor. This is Valhalla... ...the eternal golden field. Now come... ...battle beckons! How is all this possible? How are the slain brought here? The Valkyries know this. Only them. No, that cannot be true. None of this feels right. Do not despair, Eivor. Look, your friends are here. Everyone you could ever want is here beside you. No, they are not real. This place can be whatever you wish it to be, Eivor. I do not want it. Not like this. You would resign yourself to an empty death? The ecstasy I feel here is an illusion. I'd sooner call like a raven than sing a false song. Illusion or not, here there is no death, no pain, no loss, no betrayal, not like out there. You want this? To live inside a lie? I am an old woman with a broken body. What life I had left was brief, so I bid farewell. ...to my dear Volka... ...and came here. I 
I must find Sigurd. the fucking arm! Sigurd, this is an illusion. A trick. Leave with me now, and return to England. Our people need us. No. I am no one in that world. I am somebody here. Powerful. Capable. A god. Here I may live forever. Here I cannot die. Cows die. Family die. You must die. The only thing that never dies is the reputation of the one who's died. In here you have no reputation. But out there, it's not too late. Every day the same empty war. The same hollow victory. Spilling blood that tastes of water and smells of grass. You have known real battle. Real glory. But this is not it. You know this. I know you do. Brother, it is time to leave. Am I destined to follow you everywhere? Till the end of my life? All right. We go. No, you stay. I do not give you leave to go. Why leave this place? A glory you fought so hard to find. Walk with me. I am humbled to walk with you, Eivor. Your reputation is a song warriors will sing forever. You are the wolf-kissed one, who lingered at the edge of death, yet fought back. Spilled the raven wine of battle to paint whole kingdoms red. You have killed kings and crowned them as you desired, bowing to none. You stood tall where your brother stumbled, yet still, you came to his aid. You have felled many great foes in your brief time. You have earned your place here, Eivor. Seize it. Stand aside. My people need me. I have given you everything you wanted. Everything you needed. You gave me nothing. It was all me. Yet I cleared your path. I guided your axe. You were a fly bussing in my ear. How dare you deny me? Everything you believe in stirs before you. Yet, you question all. You question the very gods. 
Fight me! Do not diminish yourself! Your corpse hole is nothing but a dream! Nothing but a dream? A dream is as real as anything in this world. Do dreams not inspire? Do dreams not make us fearful? Do they not push men to their greatest glories? Then I am done ah. with dreaming. Ah. Take up your axe. Wield like a true warrior. Do not... Take up your axe! Are you with me? Sigurd! Ah! The Hanged One awakes. Feet upon the ground once more. Avon! Be careful! Bassam! What is this? Come closer, Avon. Let me get a better look at you. Leave him be, Bassam! For too long I stared at the sun. It blinded me to the truth, that it was you. It was you I wanted all along. Did you track us here? Like a cowardly fox concealed in the brush? You widowed my destiny, Wolfkist. You broke all my hopes. He's mad, Eivor. Silence him. Come, Eivor. Come save your crippled prince of dead ravens. <coughs> Ah! Are you hurt? It is nothing. Go! Kill that background! You must suffer! A thousand times what I suffered! 
What is this about? My son, Eivor. This is about my son! You speak nonsense, Bessem. Forgiveness is impossible. We shared so much in England. Fought and bled together. Dig, Eivor. Into the wellspring of your memory. Speak your grievance. Show yourself. I do not wish to fight with you. Show me your neck. Show me. <laughs> the kiss of a wolf takes my prize. Of course. <sighs> Rise. I will not have suffered in vain. You spout nonsense like an alehouse drunk. You are assigned to this, so be it. not die in peace. You will never see your home or your people again. Is this what you wanted? I want you to suffer! <laughs> ah, damn! Let us make this more interesting. We'll drag Sigurd into the fray. Cap, face me! Fight me here! Sigurd, be careful! He's coming for you! Huh? 
Oathbreaker, you die here! This brings me no joy, Justice Bringer. You were always so kind, but you chose the wrong side. I am your prize, Bessem. Come. You are indeed. Will you not die? Not here. Not by your hand. I will leave you here to die! planning this treachery. I dare not guess. Gods! Am I to be hounded by a parade of blood-minded traitors the whole of my life? There is no end to this. You have something you want to say? Then say it. I... That man's anger. His rage. It had a familiar sting that I... I cannot place. He was raving, Sigurd, without sense or reason. Pay it no mind. I am not mad, Eivor. These things I see and feel, I know they are true. I know, brother. Now more than ever, you always spoke true. We should cast our eyes towards home. It's a long journey and I... not well. Home. Eivor, on our journey here, I had much time to think on the ecstasies and the agonies of our friendship. I am not the man I was. My time as the Jarl of our clan has run short. You must lead us now. Do you mean this? When Dar called you out and challenged you to a duel, you let him die with honor, in spite of his betrayal. He did what he felt was right, and I honored that. I recall our days in Oxenefortshire, our search for the Sacker Stone. You disagreed with my orders, but you followed them. You questioned my methods, my aims, but you did not disobey. And when I passed judgment on Holger, you let my sentence lie. Though I knew you disagreed, the look on your face said all. And I remember and admire the way you guided us from Norway to England. You kept my anger in check, my ambitions focused. It was a trying time. In all my days away, in my fog of confusion, you have shown great wisdom and strength and leadership. Where you go, Eivor, I will follow. Our clan is yours to lead. Thank you, brother. I... I won't let you down. You have a stormy look. Years ago, before we left for England, I saw a vision. A vision that foretold a betrayal. That I would betray you. I refuse to believe it. I would never do such a thing, I told myself. But in the years since, I have robbed you of your dreams. Of England. Of Valhalla. If you feel I have wronged you, brother, I will make it right. We cannot unweave our fates, Eivor. All is laid before us, from the day we are born. To be angry at this would be like... Like wrestling the ocean. 
pointless struggle. We two ragged ravens. What a saga we have inscribed together. <laughs> a tale for the ages. I'm coming out. Steady, Layla. Were you watching my feed? What the hell was all that? I think that was the solution to our problem. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Desmond. Desmond? What about him? He was just a bartender before he joined us. Not even a very good one. And that's when he learned his real purpose. He was like a... I don't know, like a singularity. You know? A vanishing point. All of human history seemed to converge on him. In 2012, the sun threw off a mass coronal ejection so large, it should have wrecked all life on Earth. I remember. I worked at Abstergo then. It was Desmond who saved us. He knew how to stop it. Abstergo claimed credit for that. Something about their satellite network. That's bullshit. It was Desmond. He pulled the switch that saved the world. But that switch is still on. Still generating a magnetic field. One that's growing stronger every day. The temple Eivor found. That's where the field originates. Exactly. And it's been running for eight years. Getting stronger and stronger. It'll be dangerous now. Heat, radiation... Doesn't matter. We have to fix it. Shut it down. No, no, no. Slow it down. It's still protecting us. All of this is starting to make sense. Everything I've done, everything I've learned, it led me here to this moment. You'll need the staff for this one. For protection. Otherwise, you won't make it past the first gate. Right, of course. Okay. I'm ready. Okay. I'll pack the van. And I'll contact our ship. It can be in Boston Harbor by tomorrow night. Thanks, Bex. Thanks for keeping it steady in there. You surf this thing better than anyone I know. That's not true, is it? Well, nearly. Be careful out there. And come back in one piece. Thanks, Bex. I'm ready. It's a long way to Beantown. Hop in. Sean, I'm here. Ah, good. Your signal's already a little wobbly. Are you inside? Not yet, but there's a hundred feet of ice above me. All right. We may lose touch when you push through, so remember what we talked about. Watch your meters carefully, for radiation especially, and keep the staff close. Got it. Standing by.
Zawaho and Nakwat, Unsme Borturwan di Quarde, Ul Solus Fras Hunakudi de Unzum Huraz, Besdere has, Zohumsi. I'm in. Still works. Ah, seventy-five thousand years. What's another millennium or two? It's getting hotter already. Yes, by our reckoning, it's going to go up by about sixteen degrees Celsius. How does it draw so much power? Tectonics is our best theory. The movements of the Earth's crust, the churning lava beneath, huge source of energy. That's tech humans should have. Energy, not pieces of Eden. You're breaking up, Sean. Say that again, please. You're breaking up. Forget it. I'll call you when I'm topside. What, what are you by calling it when you're topside? Something like that. Here we go. Working overtime. That must have collapsed on the ice melting. Whoa, whoa! Steady. that melted ice. down. Don't look down.
Why would anyone want to end their life here? Unless they felt it was just beginning. It's just like the Endless. It's just like the Endless. This is... This is Eivor's Valhalla. Or, or a simulation of it. So what am I looking for? Will I know it when I see it? Something feels off. What is this? Are you doing this? Are you pushing this machine to its limit? We will never end. So here we went, in fealty to our master. Who's your master? Is he here? They flatter me. I am only a guest in their world. A world spun of wishes and hopes. Basim, you sent the message. You led us to Eivor's grave. Yes. A hopeful message, was it not? How? You've been trapped here for a millennium. Eivor put you here. Indeed. But I'm not alone in this place. Not always. I have a friend who helps me. Together, we read the calculations. After we located Eivor's probable resting place, I contacted you. Through the digital lattice that inwebs this earth like a spider's nest. In our day, all the world was connected like this. A superorganism of technology. The staff you carry, the temples you have visited, all of it speaks as one. May I show you something? I imagine you can do anything you want in this place. Not as much as you might think. I am tethered to my body in a most uncomfortable way. But you can slow this machine down. You know how it works. Yes. We'll do it together, for another catastrophe is near at hand. This node of time has an ugly way of correcting itself. Go ahead. You're a hard man to trust. You must know that. You're not obliged to trust me. But this is all I can offer. Layla. Hello. You know me? Yes. Through the calculations I read here in the Grey. Eight years ago, the odds of your arrival were 15 trillion, 55 million, 3,276 to 1. As the years passed by, those odds improved. 
And as of yesterday, near even. It's a pleasure to meet you at last. Who are you? And what is this? I am the reader of the calculations. All these possible futures for you and the world outside. I have spent much of my new life reading these, searching for a way to finish everything we started so long ago. It begins here. You slow down this machine and save the world, from which point all possible futures expand. Millions upon millions of possible roads. But in every one, another catastrophe recurs. The node collapses and the world is wiped out. The human race dwindles and fades. I must keep looking. I must find the solution for you. I must leave you with something. This node? This is right now where I slow down this machine? Yes. I start all my calculations from this point. The only thing I know for certain. That seems limiting. How do you mean? What if you went back further, to 2012 when Desmond saved the world? Desmond? What if he didn't save the world? What if he walked away and let the world burn? Look at those timelines. Read them instead. I see. An interesting idea. Fascinating. Billions upon billions of new timelines to explore. Exactly. These are timelines that never came to pass, but they could have. If Desmond had let the world be destroyed, maybe the humans that survived would have learned something from the disaster. And maybe in one of those timelines, they could have found a way to prevent it from happening ever again. That is brilliant. How did you come to that idea? If you spend too much time narrowing down what's possible, you may never give another thought to the improbable. Thank you for your insights, Layla. It's only the beginning. We have a lot of data to sift through. Are you staying? Until we find something useful, I will. I don't want this to happen ever again. You may not have much time, Layla. The machine is powered down, but the radiation... It will linger for decades. By my calculations, you have 73 seconds before your exposure is lethal. I'm not worried. I have the Staff of Eden. It heals and protects. No. You do not. What? How? Of course. Of course? Fuck! I owe this to the people I... I hurt. The people I love. Yes. I know the feeling. Let's get going, huh? A few billion timelines might take a while. It will. But it will not feel like it. That is what I like about this place. Sean, Bex, 
I... I had a choice. And I chose to stay. You'll wonder where I am. You might wonder if I am. I don't know how to answer that. But I'm not afraid. And I'm not alone. We have work to do. Work that may take us days or years. It's impossible to say. But we'll finish it. What I mean is... Don't come looking for me. It's too dangerous and... And too late. Take care of yourself. Take care of the world we still have. And take care of... You see, she's fine. In a manner of speaking. A manner of speaking? Jesus! We have to find her! You heard her. She doesn't want to be rescued. Bullshit. In any case, there's nothing left to save. Not after this long. Because of you? You left her there. This... this is all a bit much. I know I'm in the same situation. No, no. You're in a class all your own, man. We're assassins now, not hidden ones. From the Arabic, Hashishim. Ah. And do we have a mentor? Is that still the practice? We do. Name? William Miles. William Miles. I'd like to meet William Miles. Would you bring him to me? We can call him. Encrypted line. You can talk to him right now. No technology. Face to face. A meeting of minds. It's time to take the fight to these... these Templars, as you call them. I won't go anywhere, my friends. Your animus is in good hands. How much do you know? My dear, we invented such things long, long before you did. I'll figure it out. Okay. It's a nice place to die, Eivor. Not everyone gets to choose. You bested me. I don't know how, but you did. Yet, I'm the one left standing. And now, I can take from you anything I want. Your memories, your skills, your secrets. They're all mine. And when I have them, I will put them to good use to find my children and bring my family back together. A quiet place to find an end. I almost envy you. Hello, little fella. Tools or instruments of torture? Or both? love. A new world has opened to us. Once I get my bearings, there is nothing we cannot achieve. The...
Steady, Eivor. Sigurd! Tovi. Welcome home. We missed a great feast, it seems. Eivor! Sit a moment... ...and rest. Sigurd! For me. Gift of the gods, you are back. Safe and standing tall. Did you... Did you find what you were looking for? We did. We did. But it was not for us. What is this? I am... Uh, um... Returned inside of the hearth, come. Your secret is no longer safe. Hey, Vaughn, wrongly. What is this? Is everything all right? Our Jarl's Kuna has returned to lead us forward into an uncertain future. Will you speak to your people? For love and joy, words can jade. Our souls must sound in a heartful song. And when... No. No. You're less mine than I'm yours. And I ask of you only this. Keep me honest in the times to come. Hearken well in Hall of Kings. On ocean steep my words gain wings. Odin's mead I forth will bring. For noble deeds thine honor sing. We reach and blaze our trail of rest till Odin gazes upon the dead. For those who fight, for those who fall, for those who fight and those who fall, may horns resound the mighty hall. For we who fight, for we who fall. Peace there in the past. <laughs> <laughs> 